So here we have our FFTA microscope system and the first module that I will demonstrate is the GRIM. Uh, so the software, or sorry, the system is configured at the moment uh, for the GRIM use. Uh, so we have the camera on the GRIM and we have our hot stage in place here. I've already made up a slide. So here we have a, an unknown glass and here we wish to measure the refractive index of this particular sample. So I will place this slide within the hot stage itself. and then we can search for a suitable uh, fragment of glass to measure. So here we have a suitable fragment of glass to measure. So in the Grim software, I can select up to four edges, in this case, on this particular fragment here. We are already at a suitable starting temperature as indicated by the white glow on the outside of our edges. And I'll simply click auto to begin the measurement process. As this process takes around four or five minutes, we will speed this up for the purpose of this demonstration. So here we have our final results from the four edge uh, boxes selected. With each of the four measurements, we have our heating and cooling cycle with an average of the two and then our calculated refractive index from each edge box. These results can then be imported into the glass software for in our case management software. In the glass software, uh, this shows a typical scenario where we have uh, our recovered glass fragments in red our control fragments in green and then our standard in yellow. So here we can see all of the individual results and we can compare the uh, mean refractive index, match temperatures and the standard deviations as well. We also have our control charts so we can visually compare the different fragments and, uh, along the refractive index range. We can also analyze our results statistically using the included software and here again we have our recovered and our control. The recovered are broken down into groups where applicable and those groups are then compared to our control. So simply in this case we have a, a match from our recovered to our control sample. We can also generate a report. This will summarize and give the results for all of our individual uh, glass fragments with a summary at the end indicating that this is a match. Here we have a different example of a much more complex case where we have a lot more variety in our recovered samples and we are comparing those to uh, a larger set of controls. Here we can see the recovers are broken down into different groups and again on the right hand side we have red crosses uh, and green ticks for the matches that the software has calculated. Once again, we can generate a report. And if I skip to the end where we have our summary, again, we can clearly see here where the software has determined a match from our uh, recovered fragments to our controls. Here we'll demonstrate the FFTA microspectrometer. And this example, we have two uh, purple colored fibers that we wish to compare. So I'll place in the first sample for analysis. So here we have the results of the two fibers. Uh, initially, uh, they seem quite similar as the colors are very, very similar themselves. Um, one of the ways that we can display the differences a little bit better is using this zoom window. And again, here we can see some slight differences where we have this double peak on the red spectra and a difference in the uh, absorption or transmission ranging up from to 600 nanometers. We can also use the comparison tab and again here we have our PCA plot of the two spectra. 
and again at three standard deviations we can clearly see that the uh, the ellipses are, are not generally over overlaid on top of each other indicating that the fibers are of a different color To demonstrate the polarized light microscopy module, here we are analyzing a colorless fiber uh, in, and we're going to try and determine the, the type of fiber uh, that it is. So this is the fiber in our VSE software and then if we place in the polarizer, here we can see the, uh, the effect of the birefringence caused by the cross polarization on the fiber. We can now begin to identify the type of fiber by analyzing the color of the central core. In this particular example, we have a third order red. After measuring the diameter of the fiber, which is in this case approximately 0.16 millimeters, we can then go on to use the polarization color chart to then determine the type of fiber in this particular sample.